Hi family, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl here, Uqtongile Wakana Kani, who is currently known as Uzo Sake Wakwa Gokela. If you are new to this channel, please, please, please press the red button and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that every time I post, you are notified. And to the returning subscribers, thank you so much, fam. I really, 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 really appreciate you guys. Today's video, I'm talking about five things um, that I wished I knew. Basically, uh, it's my advice to first year trainees who are starting, who has started, because I know a lot of people have started already, or those who are going to start in April. This is my advice to you. You can take it or you cannot take it. But this is something that I wish someone would have told me uh, before I started with articles. So let's get into the video. Advice number one is understand the rating system. So um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, when you when you're doing articles, right, you are supposed to rate yourself on things that you've done. So there will be like uh, competencies. We call them competencies that you need to get in order for you to be signed off. So these competencies, you rate yourself from the start of your articles until the end of your articles. So the firm cannot release you until you get those ratings so it my advice would be learn those ratings at the beginning understand what is required from you and how the rating system works um, i know that now there's a new rating system but i'm not sure how it is uh, but for us we had like um and up until level four level four which means you are good um so you had to rate yourself if you see that you've done something or someone assisted you there is a diagram that helps you uh, rate yourself you can rate yourself a three or two or whatever but what i'm gonna say is understand the rating system and rate yourself on everything that you've done i would actually advise you to um, t get a excel spreadsheet that has the competences that are required from you and then do it every day or every week uh, understand what you did that week rate yourself on those three weeks and then you know that um, you you already have an excel that's that's um, sitting in your laptop so that when you are required to rate yourself um, like every two months I think that's how it was every two months you are required to submit your ratings so that you know when you are when you are submitting those ratings you already have rated yourself during this course of period because if you don't do that right it's so easy for you to forget what you actually did and um, i would advise since you are first year try to get with your managers the, or your seniors sit down and say okay i did bank reconciliation which competencies can i rate myself on and don't be afraid to rate yourself a level that's if if you know that you had no assistance don't be afraid to rate yourself the highest level um because you feel like you're a first year uh, don't be afraid to do that yes obviously at the start because you'll be shown around what to do and all of those things you may have to rate yourself like a lower rating um but i would say that don't be if you know that you did it on your own with no assistant and like maybe you got like one or two coaching notes i would say that um rate yourself like don't be afraid to rate yourself the highest level please guys the rating system is important um if you're an auditor you'll understand that if it's not documented it's not done so if you don't rate yourself and you feel like i did this darling it's not, you didn't do it you understand i'll say you did it for free because you didn't rate yourself so please guys the rating system is crucially important for you to sign off and for you um, to have audit evidence to say that I did this, I did that. And guys, rate yourself multiple times if you have to. Um, if you do it five times, rate yourself five times. The more you rate yourself, the better. So please, guys, rating system is very, very important. If you take out one thing in this video, the rating system would be it. So yeah, that is tip number one all about the admin which is the ratings <laughs> number two is ask for work when you are done with what you have like guys managers are busy your seniors are busy sometimes they think that um, a certain section would take you like 
uh, a week, for example, you, you are given a week, um, that's the budgeted time they have for you. But then they realize that, no, then you realize that, no, you are done by when you'll be done by Wednesday uh, based on you, the work that you've performed. So please let your managers know when you, are, you, when, when, you, when you are going to be idle and when you are idle. Please let them know so that they're able to give you work. They have a lot of trainees to deal with. So for you being proactive about your career, your, 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 yourself, it will help in the future because managers like to work with people who are indeed proactive, who are able to say that I, I, I need work. I'm done with this. I'm going to be done by this. Um, so please be proactive about your career. So that is number two. Number three is please ask questions like they you know i know people will say there is no stupid question and you feel like these ones are lying to me but it's true there's no stupid question you are a first year it's better for you to understand a lot of things in first year and ask a lot of things in first year so that you are equipped for your second and third year so companies know that you are first year you don't know maybe you don't even have work experience before so they understand that so don't be afraid to ask um, questions ask when you don't know something please don't sit like three hours trying to figure out how to do one thing um, if you are afraid to ask your managers and you can ask your, your your seniors or your supervisors or anyone who's at the job. So please ask questions so that you understand what you're doing. And um, it it saves time. It saves time and it saves the budget. <laughs> so guys, please, 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 I beg you of you, please ask questions. Um, that is very, very, very crucial. And yeah, um, another tip which is, I think this is tip number four, is get a mentor at work. Like, please find someone that you feel like you'll be able to learn from. I'm the mentee, you know. Uh, it's better to have a mentor because you know that that's a person that you'll go to when you don't understand how things are done. If you want to understand the rating system as well, it's it's someone that you'll be able to um, get help and get assistance in. Um, mentors mentors guys are very crucial i had a mentor i don't want to lie he was amazing uh i sometimes feel like i did abuse him <laughs> i do sometimes feel like i did abuse him but please guys get a mentor at work i know you may have different types of mentors but a mentor at work makes you understand how things are done at work and another one is punctuality punctuality is key if you are if if your work starts at eight please don't arrive at eight arrive maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes before so that you are able to to plan your day you are able to get a fresh start uh at anything you know uh, be the first person there um i would advise that it's very crucial for you to be punctual don't arrive late unless there is something very 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 serious which is understandable at times um but don't arrive late um because who wants to work with someone who's not punctual? <laughs> who really wants to work with someone who's not punctual? So please, guys, please, please, please try to be punctual. Be punctual as, like, very important, guys. It's very important. And um, the last one, I'll say enjoy your articles. Enjoy them. It's three years. After that, you may be a manager or whatever, but now it's nice because you are a big team um and there's not a lot of pressure on you so please please enjoy it uh, if you're traveling enjoy the travels if you're doing stock counts enjoy the stock counts if you are doing whatever that you're doing please enjoy your articles this is a once in a lifetime thing you only do your articles probably once so just enjoy them and yeah enjoy the journey enjoy everything and um, please also, please don't take like review, review notes personally. They are not personal. Trust me, they are not personal. So don't take review notes personally. Learn from the review notes. Learn from people who are there in the office. I believe that everyone who's there has something to teach you. So learn from them. Um, be proactive. Like, yeah, just be proactive and enjoy your journey. I really wish you well. Um, trust me, after finishing articles, 
Kumu not. <laughs> it's so nice, guys. It's so nice after you finish articles. So enjoy your journey. I wish you well. And may you have a fantastic year ahead of you. And I hope that these tips will be able to assist you, you know, so that you understand the work environment. Um, if you have any questions, do DM me. DM me on Instagram, guys, because on, on Facebook, I sometimes see it late and yeah it becomes a mess so now it seems like i don't answer dms trust me i do dm me on instagram uh it's at twangile underscore nakani so you'll get me there if you have any questions that are not answered here dm me there i wish you well guys thank you so much for watching i love you